is that single unknown settings are done. And here we have, for example, server sent event settings. So if you are interested in that, you could read the documentation. Also, we already um, uh, talk about uh, station settings, right? And here also we have possibility to enable wrap ups. So here are just a simple uh, checkbox and uh, basics uh, call log settings like possibility for us to enable uh, call logs editing, possibility for us to enable call logs and possibility for us only save connected interaction so all not connected interaction will not be saved. So here also on this page we have additional section with name activity field mapping and in this section what we could do it's based on the documentation if we for example upgraded our package from one version to another and we have a new interaction attributes and we would like to actually map it into uh, to Salesforce activity fields so we could do it here so for example we are selecting that for example for the uh, description we would like to use some interaction attributes that will be provided from the um, pure cloud uh, documentation also here uh, as I usually for our call center we have possibility to configure our soft phone layouts uh, to do so when we are in the cell force and we are looking for the call center settings uh, here we have a section with names of phone layouts and if we will open that link what we will be able to see is that here we have already list of configured uh, layouts and if we are going into this um, layout from there what we could see is we have possibility to see uh, how layout for sub fonts should look like what kind of uh, display uh, call related fields should we have like for example color id deal number or queue also what should we display in terms of uh, salesforce object like for example contact case uh, call attributes configuration and all the stuff and here we could uh, select what kind of objects are available also here we have settings like for example if single contact found what should we display like for example identity number if a single case found what should we uh, show if uh, single call attribute configuration found what should we display so you could see here we have a good uh, bunch of configuration which are in general related to our call center so the same is uh, here we have for the screen pop-ups uh, possibility for us to open it for example in a new browser window or tap or an existing browser on or window and all this kind of stuff are, which are actually related to actual uh, screen pop-up settings sorry screen pop settings and uh, let's jump back to the documentation we just uh, discussed the configuration of soft phone layouts <clears throat> Yeah, so also let's uh, talk about uh, synchronization of interaction attributes with the call log. So um, in general, uh, for information about interaction attributes, uh, we could uh, check the following link. And if you will go to that link, uh, for some reason, yeah, so here we have a lot of kind of uh, attributes. So uh, you could see, for example, we just uh, open some attribute and we could see that this attribute uh, keeps track on uh, when interaction recorder uh, has checked the policies for a proactive recording right so we know that this particular um, interaction attribute we could use and uh, with those uh, attributes we could work uh, through our uh, let's say um, pure cloud and if you are interested in uh, possibility to use it you could check more documentation uh, around pure connect uh, library around uh, those attributes so about uh, customized interaction details uh, we could see that uh, when we have interaction between our agent and between the customer uh, here we have possibility to see what kind of fields we have here and to be able to actually set it up uh, we need uh, to do the following we are going to our uh, configuration page here we have uh, a possibility for us to customize interaction details and from here uh, we could see what kind of options is available like customize interaction details here is a list of fields and it's the same list of fields that you could see here like for example uh, username some description number uh, status um, and uh, let's say timer so that is how it could be configured and here you could see a screenshot of uh, the same 
So at this moment, uh, keep words in place of interaction attributes, we will skip that section because we are looking into the basics. Assign user to the call center is already covered. Single sign on supporting the Internet Explorer, it's, um, let's say, uh, a good item because if uh, in your company you're supposed to use Internet Explorer, um, in general, Pure Cloud have some uh, troubles or some problems uh, with uh, Internet Explorer, so that's why you need to do some, let's say, additional configuration to make sure that your uh, mypureconnect.com server will work correctly with all of kind of interactions. So for those of you who need to have this information, you look into the <coughs> basic Salesforce documentation. Sorry, not Salesforce, but uh, Pure Cloud. And also here we have information about how to migrate users if you already have some, uh, for example, call center installed and you would like to migrate it from one call center to another, that you also need to, to configure this page for the new call center. <coughs> Make sure that everything is up to date and then reassign users to the uh, right call center. So for that you need to do exactly the same, um, let's say, items that you uh, regularly do when you say so, um, setting up a call center so here you could see just an example of uh, pure cloud for Salesforce version 3 uh, configured and here you could see for example um, situation when pure uh, connect cloud is not enabled and here you could see that in that case uh, required fields are the web proxy address can need to be configured and pure connect server one name and you could see some example of de default, let's say, settings that could be used. Okay, it's again about users. That's that on the user we have a field with name call center. And if you are not sure if this user is already a part of some call center, <coughs> you could go and uh, on the user record see this call center lookup. Okay, what else, what else, except of possibility to add users to the Pure Connect call center. Yeah, so how the in general actual widget looks like, it's you could see here, it's on the screenshot. So, um, uh, first of all, to be able to add this uh, Genesis component into your application, what you need to do is you need to go to App Manager, uh, find your, for example, sales or service uh, cloud, <coughs> application click on edit button and from there when you will uh, look into the utility bar items you just need to add uh, open city eyes of phone with the following settings like label phone icon call the uh, width and height of that component so here you could see an example of uh, configured and once it's done you will be able to see how it look like it's the same how it was uh, a couple of pages before so here is some troubleshooting, possibility to upgrade from Salesforce desktop or Salesforce web is something that we will just keep side by side. Configure interaction dealer. So here also in terms of um, pure connect, uh, sometimes we need to configure um, let's say situation when we have a customers who already have the interaction dealer add-on for sys and uh, for example they would like to use the power of predictable um, predictive sorry dealer capabilities to automate uh, some call campaigns in pure connect for Salesforce it could be done with that uh, kind of um, automation but uh, we will uh, skip at this moment this uh, chapter because we are just performing basic setup in Salesforce and also all the stuff needs to be done on the um, Pure Connect site, not in uh, Salesforce. So as you could see, all these uh, windows are not related to Salesforce. Uh, one more good and big uh, functionality that we would like to describe is the possibility for us to configure uh, Salesforce Omnichannel presence status and synchronization. So what does it mean? Um, in general, in Salesforce we have Omnichannel, right? And then on the channel we have a list of present statuses like active, <coughs> busy, uh, available for cases and any others that you will configure. And um, Pure Connect uh, have its own 
So that's why uh, based on the documentation to be able to set up if it's necessary for your uh, specific organization to have omnichannel setup. So you need to do the following. So first of all, you need to enable omnichannel. Uh, after that, you need to create service channel as the service channel should be based on the activity object. After that, you need to create a present status and um, based on the documentation, uh, we could see that uh, when we will create it, uh, we need to select it as uh, busy status option. So that means uh, if you will read this information that uh, create an omni-channel status that you want to map it to the pure connect for cell for status agent use when they are available to take uh, interactions. So that means that they are let's say will be busy for other items and uh, they will be able to work against this uh, selected service channel where we will let's say use this uh, specific present status. Uh, and uh, once it's done, uh, what we need to do is we need to go in Salesforce uh, under, you know, like in our configuration page under all sections, we have here a possibility to set up omnichannel um, status synchronization. And here, what we are doing is we are actually mapping what is our omnichannel status should be mapped to which kind of pure connect status. So, for example, available for telephony, if we have, for example, set up in our organization, it could be mapped to available status of pure uh, cloud. If we have busy, it could be equal to busy, or if it's on break, it could be uh, equal to on break here. But the let's say exact list of statuses available for the pure connect, it will be good to get from them. And also for the uh, fallback mapping, if for example you have situations that uh, no uh, no mapped statuses here, right, and you get a new uh, status created, so to which. Uh, status it should be uh, sent like for example for any unmapped statuses what should we use in terms of omnichannel or in terms of pure connect also here from there here we have <coughs> mentioned information that if it's required we could use uh, permission sets for us to assign uh, necessary um, present statuses and uh, what we need to do is make sure that our uh, omnichannel component is actually added into the service cloud as well as um, so on. And here uh, what we have is just a uh, possibility for us to describe how all this kind of stuff works uh, with examples, how it should be configured. One more good option for the clients might be useful that when we have uh, keyboard shortcuts, right? And we would like to have possibility open, close a phone or pick up an interaction, place an interaction on hold, <coughs> mute or unmute interaction, disconnect an interaction or for example, open the uh, deal part or open the call log. So for all these kind of uh, possibilities, what we have is we have uh, console events and uh, our console event name you could see here in the table and you could see to what action it's mapped and based on what we could see here we could configure uh, necessary for us uh, custom keyboard shortcuts for Salesforce console so here you could see an example of some already configured uh, keyboard shortcuts so you could see that it could be used but as I remember <clears throat> Here was a note that when we have a couple of components that are actually interact, yeah, uh, this example use a custom key shortcut of one configure to open or close of phone for any page of service cloud console press escape to activate keyboard shortcuts and orange uh, border flashes around the border of the screen and to indicate the shortcuts are active so you could see it and when we click in one it's open now as a phone and so on and so forth. But let's remember when you have a couple of those components, uh, some shortcuts uh, could not work. Also, when we have this um, component already working, let's say for us, what we could do is we could uh, configure, um, let's say, the behavior of custom buttons for our pure connect for cell force of phone and uh, QS view and custom buttons. Uh, those custom buttons can invoke a handler or open web pages and uh, it could apply, uh, let's say, selective interaction types. 
so how it could be configured is uh, mentioned in this chapter so we will just keep it for now because it's not for basic uh, configuration and also it should be done on the pure connect side so for those of you who are really interested in uh, you could check this documentation so also here you could see uh, <coughs> that not we are just creating um, those buttons but we could also assign client buttons to the necessary places possibility also we have uh, customized possibility to customize buttons in pure connect for cell force of phone when we will click on these three dots we will be able to uh, customize what kind of uh, options do we have here we could reorder them and uh, let's say based on the checkboxes we could uh, decide what is important for us or not also for the screen pop we will skip this chapter but if some of you will be interested you could uh, went through it at this moment we just skipping it Okay, it's also about the situation that when we have a call, some records in Salesforce could already be opened and what kind of information it should have. And also here in the pure um, cloud, we have a possibility to configure what kind of information could be already populated if we are just creating a new record and the URL of new record, for example, new contact is becoming op opened uh, based on our um, uh, let's say uh, parameters for the first name sorry not here I saw it some yeah uh, parameters for the first name and last name we, what we could do is we could already predefine all these values and uh, when the new form will be just opened all these values will be uh, already auto populated so for example you could see here uh, when we are talking with a new person and a new contact form is opened uh, we could see that first name and last name are already uh, selected um, based on information that we provided. So also here we have possibility to uh, set up advanced customizations, like possibility to enable uh, click to deal on Visual Force pages. It's uh, related to station. <coughs> and for example, on the page we have uh, a lot of, uh, let's say, phone numbers like for example uh, when they are on the contact or on account page and when agent click on that uh, phone number uh, on default Salesforce pages so the interaction automatically deals the phone number and pure connect for Salesforce populate the name and related to text boxes with the relevant object from the Salesforce pages and we could uh, actually interact with that so here you could see that we have also <coughs> Apex controller how it should look like what information it should get and also Example of the JSONs, how at the end it will look like, create custom interaction looks, but all this stuff I think that we will just keep for now because it's not for the basic configuration. Okay, okay, okay. So I think that it's in terms of basic configuration for the uh, pure connect, it's all and uh, thank you for the attention and if any one of you will still have any kind of questions you will be able to check uh, official documentation related to this specific call center product on the official website <laughs>